Esox is a genus of freshwater fish, the only living genus in the family Essosidae. The Essosids, which were endemic to North America and Eurasia during the Paleogene through present, the species of this genus are known as pike and pickerel. The type species is E. lucius, the northern pike. The big pike species are native to the Palearctic and Nearctic ecozones, ranging across northern North America and from Western Europe to Siberia in Eurasia. Pikes have the elongated, torpedo-like form of predatory fishes, with sharply pointed heads and sharp teeth. Their coloration is typically gray-green with a mottled or spotted appearance with stripes along their backs, providing camouflage among weeds. Individual pike marking patterns are unique, like fingerprints. Pike can grow to a maximum recorded length of 1.83 meters 6 feet, reaching a maximum recorded weight of 35 kilograms 77 pounds. Species currently, seven recognized species are placed in this genus, Esox aquitanicus dennis, Ditai, Persat, Hotker and Keith, 2014, Aquitanian pike, Esox americanus J. F. Gamelin, 1789, American pickerel, Esox americanus americanus J. F. Gamelin, 1789, Redfin pickerel, Esox americanus vermiculatus lesur, 1846, Grass pickerel, Esox cisalpinus bianco and delmastro, 2011, Southern pike, Esox lucius linnaeus, 1758, Northern Pike, Esix Mesquinongi Mitchell, 1824, Muscalunge, Esix Mesquinongi Mesquinongi, Great Lakes Muscalunge or Spotted Muscalunge, Esix Mesquinongi Ohionsis, Chautauqua Muscalunge or Bard Muscalunge, Esix Mesquinongi Immaculatus, Clear Muscalunge, Esix Niger Lesur, 1818, Chain Pickerel, Esix Riker T. Dabowski, 1869, Amur Pike, hybrids between Esix Mesquinongi and Esix Lucius are well known and referred to as the Tiger Muscalunge. One fossil species, Esix cronary grande, 1999, is known from the Eocene of the Green River Formation. Two additional fossil species from this family are placed in their own genera, St. Sox foxy Wilson, Brinkman and Newman, 1992, and Old Main Sox canadensis Wilson, Brinkman and Newman, 1992. Etymology The generic name Esox pike fish, derives from the Greek isox e a large fish, and appears to be both profoundly archaic and cognate with Celtic, Welsh eog and Irish Gaelic iasc fish, as well as Alpine Gallic asterisk esosk which is consistent with the original Indo-European root for the common word for fish, asterisk pe k s k. Pliny uses the Latin form Esox in reference to a large fish in the Rhine normally identified with salmonidae, lax or salmon. Carolus Linnaeus attributes Esox to the pike fish which is of similar form and appearance but taxonomically different to the salmoniforms, whereas the first mention of Esox as a marine animal appears in the writings of Hesich I.U.S. The English common name pike is an apparent shortening of pike fish, in reference to its pointed head, Old English pick originally referring to a pickaxe. The plural of pike is pike. A Northern English and Lowland Scots name for the pike, GED, similarly derives from Old Norse GADDR, spike, CF, the modern Swedish name for the pike, Gada, the Danish Gedi, the Norwegian, Jed, and Scottish Gaelic, Gide. The Dutch name for the pike, Snoek, has been given to a wide variety of fish reminding sailors of the pike, see Snoek, Snook. The English pike, originally referred specifically to the adult fish, the diminutive form pickerel, now used to name some of the smaller pike, E. americanus and E. niger, referring to the young. The walleye, Sander vitreus, is sometimes called a pickerel, but it is unrelated to the pike, being a member of the perch family per se. Pike are not to be confused with the unrelated pike minnows, traditionally known as squawfish, of genus Tychochylus, family Cyprinidae, or pike perch, Sander lucioperca, which is more akin to walleye than to pike. Pike are also called jackfish in North America and informally slough shark in Western Canada. Diet Pike feed on a wide range of food sources, predominantly smaller shoalfish. Pike are also cannibalistic, sometimes preying upon smaller members of their own species. This can be seen clearly in the northern pike. They will also prey on insects and amphibians such as newts or frogs in times when their usual food is scarce, and occasionally on small mammals like moles or mice when caught waterborne. Small birds such as ducklings may become a target for hungry pike. Pike are also known to prey on swimming snakes. They are, however, undeserving of their reputation for being overly vicious predators. There are few substantiated incidents of pike. 
attacks on people. Pike's further reputation as a pest seems to lie predominantly amongst a small handful of anglers and fishery managers who think, perhaps unfairly, that pike are a threat to native rough fish and also other sport fish. Angling Effective methods for catching this hard-fighting fish include dead baits, live baits, and lure fishing. Pike can easily be damaged when handled since they are not as robust as their reputation would suggest. Color of lure can be influenced by water clarity and weather conditions. Since pike have numerous sharp teeth it is wise to take extreme care when unhooking them. The use of a wet leather gauntlet and surgical forceps to remove hooks is highly recommended on safety grounds. If practicing catch and release fishing, care for the pike should be the pike angler's utmost concern. The formerly recommended practice of grasping a pike by its eye sockets, misinterpreted as its eyes, resulted in numerous released pike that quickly died from inability to see prey any longer. The current recommended method of grasping pike is to close the hand firmly over the gill covers, and to make the period of handling as short as possible before release. Grabbing a pike by the gill covers is not feasible when a pike is very big, but it is easy to handle a pike by inserting the fingers at the bottom of the gill opening and grabbing the lower jaw. Big pike should also be supported at the belly. When a pike is held this way it is also easier to keep the mouth open to remove a hook. Some anglers now use special grips to grab the pike's front lower jaw, which can add to the safety of an angler's because of the danger imposed by the hooks of the lure or tackle and the pike. S teeth. However these can cause serious damage to a pike's lower jaw. The Pike Anglers Club was formed in 1977 to campaign for the preservation of pike and the sport of pike fishing. A practice known as gut hooking was previously widely used in catching pike. Upon taking the bait, the pike will hold it for a short time in its mouth as it moves off. The pike will then, usually, turn the bait in its mouth, so that it sits in alignment with its throat to ease swallowing. It is recommended that when pike fishing the process is not allowed to go this far and a strike is recommended as soon as a bite is indicated. Otherwise, what is known as gut hooking will result, which will normally kill or seriously injure the fish. Dutch research shows that cutting the line immediately when the fish is gut hooked will still give low mortality, 14%. The hooks in the gut or stomach were either encapsulated or removed from the body. Placing hooks near the rear of the bait reduces the risk of deep hooking. Other methods of catching and handing pike that are now frowned upon are the gaff and the gag. The gaff is a metal hook on the end of a pole used to hook through the fish's body in place of a more humane landing net. A gag is a device for holding open the pike's mouth whilst unhooking. These are now illegal in Scotland, as they put a huge amount of pressure on a pike's jaw, thus causing irreparable damage. Cuisine the taste of pike and pickerel is highly esteemed, but the multitude of long, fine, forked bones are problematic. The dish of canels de broche, pike dumplings, which puts the meat through a sieve, was invented to deal with this. Indeed, Escoffier believed, falsely, that canels had completely displaced the whole fish from the menu. In mythology Russian mythology holds that the pike is one of several forms assumed by evil water spirits called Vodianoi, and a ravenous mythical pike is traditionally blamed for decimating the fish population in the Sheksna River. Russian fairy tales, on the other hand, also tell about an old wise pike that can fulfill wishes of the one who catches it, if its catcher releases it back into its habitat. In the Finnish Kalevala, Vainamwanan creates a cantele string instrument from the jawbone of the pike. Submarines and tanks Two United States Navy submarines have been named Pike, SS-6 of 1903 and SS-173 of 1935 and 3, SS-22 of 1912, SS-177 of 1936, and SS-524 of 1944 named Pickerel. In addition, the Soviet submarines known to NATO as the Victor III class and Akula class are called the Shukov. Pike class in Russian. The Soviet Iosif Stalin tank is three, was also nicknamed Shuka, in reference to its sharply pointed hull front. Heraldry 
In heraldry, the pike is called a Lucy, English heraldry, or a GED, Scottish heraldry. It is usually blazoned either niant, swimming, embowed, bowed, or horient, jumping, though pairs of Lucys may appear adorst, back to back, as in the arms of the Finnish town of Usikaupunki, Argent, two Lucys adorst azure. References External links E6. Integrated Taxonomic Information System. Retrieved 5 December 2004. Oxford English Dictionary, SBB. E6. GED1. And. Pike, N.4. Pike in Your Waters, The Pike Anglers Club, Pub 2003. Pike Preservation Fishing Equipment, Pike Fishing Scotland. Float tube fishing in Ireland Pike fishing from a float tube Pike fishing in Denmark Course fishing in Denmark Pike fishing in Scotland Course fishing in the Highlands River swimming water safety mentions pike attack as a risk of open water swimming. Accessed on 21 October 2007.